the Sri Lankan military has been using landmines to defend its bases. The problem with landmines is that they can be live in a danger to people decades after they've been laid. For example, it's been eight years since the Sri Lankan civil war ended. But as many as 22 people lost their lives to civil war landmines just four years ago in 2013. Global resentment of the damage caused by landmines led to 122 countries signing a treaty in 1997 against anti-personnel mines, known informally as the Ottawa Convention. The treaty commits countries to stop using landmines, destroy existing stockpiles and clear all mined areas within 10 years. Sri Lanka had said in March 2016 that it would join the mine ban treaty, but nine months after making that pledge, the government hasn't deposited its instrument of accession. This instrument is a letter, to the UN Secretary General, in which a country agrees to join the mine ban treaty and be legally bound by it. So what's taking them so long? The instrument hasn't been deposited, reportedly because of opposition from the Defence Ministry. The military wants to put alternative arrangements in place before getting rid of the landmines around its bases. And after the Defence Ministry gets in line, the move to join the Mine Ban Treaty will also need to be approved by the Sri Lankan Parliament. The sad reality is that around 21,000 people have died in Sri Lanka because of landmines over the past 34 years. For a country so painfully aware of the suffering caused by landmines, the delay in joining the Mine Ban Treaty is a shame. Incidentally, India, Pakistan and Nepal haven't joined either.